Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuto Tuesday. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a satellite. With a compass we mark half a circle which will be Earth. Then we take some measurements and begin sketching the satellite. The solar panels and the body itself. We give it some shape and detail. I'll draw a little radar up here. Then with a light blue we begin coloring Earth. We leave some white or almost white spaces for the clouds. I think this blue is too light and you can barely see it. Let's go over it with a darker one. Oops, I was so into it that I went off the frame. Okay. We finish coloring the planet's surface and then with a cloth or preferably with a chamois we smudge it. As you can see this changes its appearance. And with a kneaded eraser or a regular eraser we do the clouds. Good! And now with a black marker we draw the outer space. First I use a fine point to do the borders so as not to go over them. And then I switch to a wider point to go faster, because I don't want to become old doing this. We finish sketching the detail and then with a black pencil well sharpened, we begin the solar panels. And then we render the shadows and the lights on the satellite. I wanted to have a metallic finish. We smudged with a tortillion. I got the inspiration to create this drawing while I was reading a book that I like very much called Bold. In this wonderful book written by Peter Diamandis and Stephen Cutler, they talk about the new technologies that will revolutionize the world and how to apply them to create positive impact in society. Peter is a true futurist. He has created over 15 high-tech companies. One of the most recent creation will dedicate itself to mining satellites to get valuable metals and send them back to Earth. So we will not have to deplete this planet and it will be a huge business. The company is called Planetary Resources. In case you want to check it out and join this movement. All right. I use a ruler to straighten some of my lines that were all wavy. And with a gray marker we give a tone to the panels. Coming back to the subject, it turns out there are thousands of satellites orbiting around the sun that are rich in metals. And we can avail of them. With a white pencil we refine the border of the earth and create the stars. With a white pastel we put some lights on the satellite, we draw the blaze of the planet and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.